What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at Multi Racing Championship, or MRC. Oh my god, there's so many racing games for the Nintendo 64. MRC was developed by Genki and published by Ocean, with a North American release date of August 31st, 1997. Multi Racing Championship is an arcade style racing game which lets you race using one of 10 cars against nine opponents in championship mode, or you could play time trials, free play, or two player versus. There's no sweeping story or complicated plot in MRC. However, you will need to win first place in the championship mode to progress. When you pick a car, get the option to customize from seven different areas of your car such as your handling, your suspension, braking, or manual or automatic transmission, just to name a couple. This actually takes me to MRC's first major flaw, which is the fact that there's actually only three courses. They are Seaside, Mountain, and Downtown. Thankfully, each of these courses have hidden paths which helps out with some of the replayability, as well as later on, you unlock being able to play them backwards. Next, I'd like to talk about MRC's controls. Unfortunately for this game, Genki decided to go with a more realistic racing experience. What do I mean here? Well, whenever you need a power slide, you have to slow way down or tap the e-brake making sharp turns in this game nearly impossible. If you oversteer too much in one direction, your car will completely fishtail around. If you understeer, you'll just go crashing into the wall. It makes taking these sudden sharp turns in this game just horribly frustrating and impossible to do, especially at any high speed. Which, unfortunately for an arcade-style racing game, kind of ruins the sense of speed. Now, one thing that Genki did do well in MRC is the frame rate. Throughout the whole entire game, the frame rate stays solid, so no complaints there. And speaking of the frame rate and the levels, let's actually talk about them for a moment. The cars and roads look quite nice, but sadly, some of the details in the backgrounds and some of the atmosphere in this game just feels kind of lacking and doesn't really have any sort of polish. Now, I would like to touch briefly on the music and sound effects of this game. Multi-Racing Championship is a pretty nice rock soundtrack, actually. But the issue here is that it gets almost totally drowned out by the sound of the engines. So it's like, when you can hear the music, it's nice, but it's kind of hard to hear. I almost wish I could turn off the sounds of the engines and just turn up this game's soundtrack. So finally, to close out this review, is Multi Racing Championship worth playing today or adding to your collection? Well, unless you're a huge, huge racing fan or a hardcore Nintendo 64 collector, I'd say avoid this game. There's plenty of other better arcade-style racing games that you could play out there, such as Ridge Racer or just stick with the Cruising series. Thanks for watching. Now, till next time.